Hey guys, I'm Destiny. I'm back with another how to. Today I'm going to show you how to use some simple tools in Microsoft Word. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I just have a couple of tips and tricks that are going to help make your life when you're using Word a little bit easier. So basically, this is what the Word screen is going to look like whenever you first open it up. Uh, up here at the top, it's going to give you a bunch of templates to look through. So a blank document, um, a basic management cover letter, uh, and so on and so forth. You can search through all of these templates. They have so many. Um, then you're going to come down here. This is the search bar where you can type in and search for a document that you're looking for. Um, but then also they have recommended for you. So documents that you have spent a lot of time on um, that were opened recently, that had recent updates, that, that's what's going to be in the recommended for you. Then we're going to scroll down here and you can also see the recent ones that you've opened pinned. The easiest way to pin it is just to hover over it and click the pin and then shared with me. But for today's video, we're just going to open up a blank document. So in my blank document, I'm going to go ahead and just type something on there just to get something on the page. Um, and then we're going to go up here to the top left corner um, and we're going to turn on autosave. With autosave on, um, it's going to allow you to keep doing your work without having to worry that if your computer crashes or if something goes on, if you have to get up and leave your desk, um, your things are going to be saved regardless. Um, and just for the sake of all purposes, I'm going to save it to the cloud. So our OneDrive, SharePoint of whatever business or company that you're working with, that way everyone else can see what you're doing. Um, and they also have access to make edits and changes on the document. So I'm going to click the OneDrive. I'm going to title it, example, and now it's saving. And it just auto-saved and you can see it up here. So it's the title and it says, that all of my changes have been saved. And when you start typing, it says that it's saving up here at the top and then give it a couple seconds and it's gonna say that it's completely saved. In regards to when you're offline um, and you're trying to write a document um, and it's like your autosave is continually staying like this, it will sync back up once you get back online. Um, so that way all of your changes are saved and completely um, ready to go for the next time. So once you go over here, you can add comments to spots on the document where things need to be changed, where you like things, um, really just constru constructive criticism or whoever you're working with on your document um, can leave a comment for you. Um, up here is also where you'll see after you share it with someone um, that they are on the document, that they're making changes, um, and that they have access to the file. Over here in the editing, you can change the view um, so that way, you know, people can make changes. Whoever you share it with can make changes. They can only make comments or they're just viewing it. No changes. Nothing can be altered from your document at all. And then the last thing I'm going to show you up here is going to be the share button. So you can share it two different ways, but um, you can copy the link and you can send it to someone or you can just click share and this little window is going to pop up. Um, and I can type in someone within my organization that I want to share it with. Uh, I can give her a message. And then down here, it's going to say anyone with the link can view, um, which I can change that over here. So I can say can edit um, or can review. And then I can also copy that link if I want to send it to someone else, or I can just flat out go ahead and send the link in an email. So once that's sent her, she is able to open it up and start working with me on this document. It's just a few simple things that I'm sure people already know, but sometimes we forget. Um, I know that I had to have a, a refresher of it. So I hope you guys found this super helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all the latest videos from Capital Presence.